Merge! Merge! Status now diving into engage that one. And welcome back to the Reapers and hope you're doing very well today we start a brand new campaign we're introducing the desert rats campaign so um, we started it about three weeks ago a World War two campaign and it didn't go very well it was fun but it didn't go very well it just didn't have enough objective and it wasn't realistic and so we gave it up so we're trying to do a bit better this time so this time we're doing what we're calling the desert rats campaign now that desert rats was oh god uh, ninth Australians I think um, at Tobruk um, but we're covering the whole kind of uh, North African World War II operation uh, starting off with day one Operation Torch um, so that's what we're going to be doing uh, to keep it more focused obviously we can't we don't have the actual terrain to use we're going to use Persian Gulf it's the nearest we can get uh, and there you go so before I pass over to Onslaught let me do uh, the rules because I'll forget otherwise uh, we it's not our GR Milsim type thing that would be too hard with this so you can see the blues on the map you can respawn if you disconnect if you hit a blue guy in if you you know you tag him um, hit in run into him if you do a runway crash because someone always crashes and I can't seem to get it out of you guys so yes you can respawn in warbirds and engine failure outside of combat so if anything other than combat you blow your engine up then yes you can respawn because I know that's very annoying and just wastes the mission for you uh, that's about it guys so those are the rules uh, we'll look at the teams in a minute I'm gonna pass to Onslaught who did the mission to tell us what the mission is okay so basically day one operation torch uh, the PMC unit the hellhounds have been tasked by Winston Churchill to assist in the invasion of Africa and us for us the Grim Reapers we are assigned to assist the hellhounds in the invasion by starting with the a beach assault at Egypt uh, the enemy forces have begun building a temporary base along the coastal defences. They are beginning to uh, set up their defences. So we are going to go in, attack in the early morning to surprise, have a surprise attack. Uh, so the main objective, uh, if you go to the aerial recon photo, you can see that the base has Pretty much four sections, a uh, storage depot, a fuel depot and a ammo depot, as well as a temporary air base, a radio tower with a radar or something like that. And so the, our primary objective is to destroy the, for, this, the three depots plus the air base to be take down the radio tower and also that radar tower. Additionally, we have two uh, checkpoints on the roads for the inland. These are bonus objectives. If you have ammunition to spare, if you still have rockets or whatever, you can go after the, these targets. They will make the uh, uh, it will give uh, make the hellhounds uh, invasion a lot easier for them. But if not, these are not priority targets. 
uh, QR, we, we expect to have some uh, air aerial patrols in the area. So do keep an eye out for enemy air. Uh, all right, so for the rest of us, we will be taking off from Kasab and the other island, the Kishim Island. We will rendezvous at that point there. Uh, there will be a few landmarks there in order to mark the location so that we don't get lost. Then once we all uh, rendezvous, we will dir go directly to the airbase for our attack. And then after our attack, we will RTB, all RTB back to Kasab. To Kasab, we're all coming back to Kasab, are we? Are we? Yes. Hey, firm. Um, all right, if we finish the briefing. Yep. Okay, but tactics, there's not much really to think about, except I suggest not using the guns on the ground targets until all patrol, air patrols are taken care of, chaps. Otherwise, we're going to get into the usual thing that happens is we get jumped later on and we've got no guns because we've all used our guns up. Uh, so that's up for you guys to be disciplined to do that. Any Bring lots of organs. Then. Bring lots of bombs and bring lots of bombs and rockets. Use them like fucking immediately before we get jumped and then get ready to be jumped. Uh... And you have guns and a light aircraft ready for that. Anything else, you will be fucked, basically. And as we know from experience, uh, strafing with the rockets, stuff like that, you'll just get killed straight away from behind. Anyone want to add anything to that? All units cap, all units cap, aircraft at Kasab runway, please take off and we'll meet you over the ocean waypoint. Alright, step fast, take it off. <laughs> okay, Chem Island, please take off and get to the waypoint. We'll see you in the air, one by one. Okay, boys, good clean takeoffs. Tate is rolling. Chem Island, best island. Spitfire starting 0 to 0. Hello, 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 concentrate please. Fuck's sake. Yes! Put your nose down! Put your blood. Oh, why do they do this? Let me go slow right turn. Ah! Oh, right. Is that Captain Island, best island? Uh, 
think this is just a visual thing. Uh, Roger, my gear is not the eyes of the visual button. Roger, that's Capricorn Italia to uh, hold the way, so I need some sort of 360 or something. Scratch it, please. Scratch it. I'll just beat you. I'll beat you the way, boy. We'll, we'll get back together. Roger. Alright. Powering up. Climbing to the cruise up again. I 16, remember we have 5 minutes of, of water emergency power, 5 minutes. Roger, we'll put a trash in charge once we get to the, um, this point. Okay. Trash, can we make that 5,000? I really don't think I've got the climb rate to go up to 10,000 on this. Trash, have to leave. Uh, that'll be you then, Rage. Can we go to 5,000 instead of 10,000, please? Roger. Uh, do you think you can make it to the, to the cloud tops, uh, Cap? Yeah, I think so. Roger, that's where I'm sitting. We, uh, we'll be climbing up so we can do boom and suit zoom when we need to. I'm so at about 7,000. 7, Roger. Roger, wild car, uh, wild cat, uh, stick together at least if you agree. Copy that, we're hugging each other right now across the cockpit. Okay, uh, I guess engage, but call your buddies in to help. Copy that. Oh, we have 
Roger, and you guys uh, have moved the rendezvous point. We're heading over to you. Roger, uh, making a left turn towards the east. We are to your east, currently coming west. Should be on your left wing. Roger. All sides warning, you have free time to be at one of nine. Hit. They're diving down on you right now. Roger, Roger, Roger. We can engage, we can engage. Charging gate. Cut tally. Blown through. The flown through, the budget. There's one going left low, left low, I'm on him. Too high. Accurate uh, oil rig. Oh, hit 
Lights on that 109. Scenario's gonna try to follow up, just so heavy with these bombs. Putting the web on. I can't catch these guys. He's running like hell. Come on, P-51. I got the web on. <laughs> Yours closing, I think I'm the closest. Gunzello, he's on he's inbound on you. Roger, if they are regressing uh just uh let him go. But we got we gonna need up to you for the uh attack. Stang got plenty of fuel, we'll be fine. Thanks for reminding me to switch my tanks. Captain B, if 109 could possibly engage them while, uh, 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 while you guys continue up on to target. I agree. We're going to have to turn back, back, turn back southeast. Captain's going okay, to target. Okay, okay, come back. B, if 109 will take care of these enemies. Come with me to target. Roger. I'm heading towards the uh one of those something up. I'm heading back to the window of the Cap Oscar Mike. They're not going to follow orders, um, uh, Swift, but I think we should just go and get this, get this sorted. Okay. Okay, All that cross, we're on the All that cross, we're on the boot. All that cross, we're on the disengage and go towards target, otherwise you would run out of fuel. Crash right into orbit over all the whole edge of the pen. Alley coming. One source just in front of you, Rage, about 100 meters lower than you. Two miles. Okay. Weapons are on you as well. That's my front right. Visual on the front. Just go for target on store, don't circle. We haven't got the fuel for this. Okay. Target. Cap is your lead, Cap is your lead, come and find Cap.
I'm at two, two, big two. So it's 2,000 meters, I guess. Gas. I can catch up. What's your altitude? My altitude is now 75, Angels 7, Challenge 5. Anyone got tally on ground targets? Approaching the coast, uh, you see them out of the mist soon. Okay, makes a boom boom use those ground ordnance. That's what the Reaper's about, those technical terms. The boom boom. The quicker you get smoke stack up, the quicker we'll see it. No, I'll move you so mad at Tally boom boom, what a boys fencing. Any impacts, uh, uh, crash? Ooh, well done, boy. Well done. I'll let you know if I do, Cap. I got really a lot of speed, too, so hopefully this is good. Yeah, we're good. Well, I'm going to get the Reaper to the other Yeah, I'm in 
to take that third depot. It's un, uh, undamaged. Hey, 500 pound bomb. Cap Y3, Cap uh, flight has now spotted three times in enemy aircraft. We are flying your train to engage. Good luck. Just a bit long of the third deep. Switching to rocket. Boom! Cap shot. Cap an edge to edge. doing a immediate re attack from the north. Rocket. Spitfires committing again from the north. I love it. A lot of damage, man. Great shots. Ah! We have lines coming in from the east. Sarah's going in for the radio tower. Where are these mixture spins? Tiger okay, off target, feed wet. Someone shot down, I don't know who it is. I think there's a mission speed coming into the cast zone, into the cast zone, watch out. I'm certain of it. Come on baby, more power, more power, generate more power. The guy who's going towards the hostile tower, you're about to get shot. B-51, prepare to get shot. Merge! Merge! Mercury is now diving into engaged at one. Sure is engaging 109. Sever, you have one off to your 9 o'clock. Or 3 o'clock. Off the 
Oh shit. Come here, you bastard. Tell. He's got peak right, he's peak right. Those two are friendly, they just collided. What yeah, happened? That's destroyed, that people and I is going down. Somebody killed me. Oh, don't tell anything left. All targets destroyed. RTB, RTB. We're gonna spit fire, spit fire gun, climb into the assignment of the ground targets. He's got their engine. When just Roddy B. Alright, scenario RTP as well. Winchester. Get to the airfield, Kazar, we're all going to Kazar, get there and orbit until I get there. Uh there's Tepro made it, made it, made it. I have crash landed in enemy territory. I don't know where I am, I'm in the desert. Nine, 
side hill. Oh, I have my shotgun. <laughs> oh god. It's a brutal suicide. RTB, otherwise we'll never make it back. Kappa is 3 0 for 10 gas, not quite sure how we're going to do this. Never spit fire, engines cut out. Are you going super slow, Cap? I'm trying to get on you. Yeah, I'll go a little bit faster than that. Come on, everyone, try at least try an RTB. It's not so fucking suicide mission. Cap, keep the RPM at about 70% that you can see. Cap, what's your current attitude? I haven't got a clue because I can't read the gauge. Do anybody know Cap's attitude? Yeah, it looks like he's about 7,000, 7,000 feet. Uh, okay, got that, mate. Feet, uh, meter. Oh, 2,000 meters. 2,000 meters. Okay, copy that. I'm getting some height, because I'm probably going to have to glide. Yeah, I'm going to have to glide. And at that moment, you, 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 you realize that you have less than half tank left. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone um, got any formation work done. Shift has been in formation with a uh, whistler for a bit. Okay. I did on uh, on flat B51 with the I-16. Spit's got a bit of formation in. So did the 109s. Let's talk about the rudder back there, Shifty. Cap, should it you like uh, head, head like more straight toward Kassab uh, and not like do like the super loop? Well, uh, I think I've got some damage because I'm screwing to the right all the time. I'll just fly sideways on this. Chaps, this is Kassab, 2, 3, 2, 4, 43. Hey, Cap. Hey there. Um, let me check the map really quick. Oh, okay, I'm a bit lost. Yeah, I can stand back. Cap, if you, you can follow me if you want. Um, we'll head 232. Roger, I can't go any faster than this, though. That's alright. I will go slow. Cap, 20% fuel. Alright, am I going too fast? Yeah, I'm going too fast. Slowing down. You know about the third gauge, the third fuel gauge behind your left shoulder? Yeah, that's the uh, tank we never fill. Well, I don't fill it. You know how far we are out from this space, guys? 
We are quite close, Cap. Uh, we uh, we are probably within uh, within uh, uh, gliding distance soon. Cap is uh, about thirty miles from the back. Is that three zero? Roger three zero. No sweat. Let's explain it by fire over here, Cap. With you. Hey, Cap, do you like to your throttle or something? Because I have never. I said I was too. slowing down, guys. You guys didn't hear me, I guess. That was for all of you. Cap heard me. He slowed down. Uh, yeah. So it's a visual bug. Cap scares not out. Oh, sorry, I, I just responded to the wrong chat. Cap, do you manage to use your rocket? Of course, yeah, I didn't use it. Cap 12% gas. You got plenty. And we've got tally on the old strip, yeah? Yeah, Cap, it's over this. It's, it's gonna be like in a valley thing. We probably can't see it yet. Yeah, we're heading 245, making right turn 245. Make that 250. My speed got away from us again, Cap. Okay. Bring it back again. Cap is puffing his pants, 8% gas. How far, guys? <laughs> We're close, Cap. Just around We're there. We're right inside. He got like 18 miles. Fucking hell. The runway in visual sight. Kazaab, runway cap declaring emergency. Clear runway, please. Uh. It, it's further this way. It's in the canyons. Yeah, it's, uh, keep heading, um, kind of west. Two four zero for, um, finals, that's where you are. Three percent fuel, preparing to glide. Gonna need gliding, buddy. I'm lost in the soup, guys. Where am I going? 240. Go 240 and you'll be straight on initials. Yeah. There, uh, Cap, uh, if, uh, if, uh, if you want, like, direct heading 220. Can you see me? Just, right yeah. Right in front of you, Cap. Cap. Right, yeah. Cut your throttle, oh, you'll be able to glide a bit. I have cut all the throttle and I'll be in this one right down to the bottom. Heading is now yep two one five. Fuck's sake! How fucking long is the fucking base? All right, Cap. I think you're right behind me, just like about a thousand feet back. Be a little more. Come right, Cap. Down here. Give me a wing waggle. Yeah, I see ya. Cool. Wow, the weather is shit. Visibility! I'm heading into the soup. <laughs> the base is just shooting at me. <laughs> okay, it's now entering Kassel the pattern. We'll get through that cloud cap, just, just 
descend a bit. Alright, Senori has the field in sight. If you see me, I'll guide you in. Roger. Just get, you just gotta get through that cloud. Oh, Roger, I'm on idle now. Get through that. Yeah, get on it. Yep. There, once you poke through that cloud, you'll start to see the extended uh, lights, extended center line, coming out the runway. Snare's getting in landing. I'm in landing configuration for final. Actually, I'm gonna let Cap land first. Fuck, I see it, I see it, I see it! Put the flaps up. You see the extended center line? Yep. Alright, the Pappy lights to the left and light, you've got, you've got it. I'm just gonna fly by it, I'm not gonna land it. See. Isn't that like a hidden frickin' runway or what? <laughs> What's this thing running on? Somebody is, somebody is leaking fuel wow. out. Wow, that's really hard to see. The runway is nice and lit up though, it has an extended line, all sorts of good shit. Whistler in the pattern. Okay, coming up, Cap. Scenario left hand pattern, um, Kassab, whatever that, what is it? It's a runway. What runway is it? I think 1-8 actually. 1-9, when we run 1-9. 1-9. Nine. Get the gear down for God's sake, Jesus Christ, how hard is it? Scenario left downwind. One night. Fucking piece of shit aeroplane. Caps gear jammed going for a belly landing. down safe. Down your end of the runway, signal risk, can not run into me. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, same firm cap. No fucking hell. <laughs> Tail! Why? <laughs> Unbelievable. Tail! <laughs> Snap rolls me inverted. <laughs> you crashed. <laughs> Landing hard. Two 
too low Mustang if it hit those trees. Clear. She already's got some battle scars. We see Captain. Yeah, I'm almost there. Hey, you should see me then. <laughs> I like that thick but ineffective triple A, didn't you, Cap? That makes it really cinematic. Okay. It's a World War II level up. Let's go. I, I mean, I had to compromise somewhere. <laughs> so. Oh, for five fucking minutes. The matter with these. Static finals. If um, come and line up for me for sillies. Aren't you on the, uh... I'm lined up, your belly landed, right? Goddamn right. I shift you on final. Decent amount of fuel left. Out of 68% fuel, I had 19 left. Everyone meet up at Cap's body. Static leaving okay, active by Alpha. Uh, that that oh, looks like God. painted wood. Welcome <laughs> like... back, guys. Okay, um, not the prettiest mission in the world, but we done it. We done it fair and square, so I'm happy about that. Good job. So, before we debrief to celebrate, on three, full throttle and eject. If such a thing is applicable to your jet with maximum trim up. One, two, three. Ten more seconds. I'm still on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Look at that guy. <laughs> what a douche. A douche. Ooh, that's not nice for your back garden. Good mission, guys. Uh Warbird missions are never easy, just to get off the ground. We had some ugliness, some stupid takeoffs and stuff, but we got the mission done. Tackled some baddies on the way, obviously. Um, went and did the mission and blew a load of stuff up. About as much as we could expect some Warbirds to do. Took some more bad guys down. And even I got back somehow. The last 10 miles I had no gas according to my um, my gauge. Uh, so pretty chuffed about that. Any, any Warbird stories or anything? Yeah, my engine burned out, the torque let up, and I crashed into trash information. Ah, no, got it. Yeah, so crash, so take the charges off. By 109. I, I know. know. <laughs> I know, hello. I threw lots of fucks Did a snap you. roll, snap roll. Mm. And then I can't seem to get it right until I get in the air. Once I get in the air, it's all trimmed out. It's just lovely. It's because you're pulling up, and you're not meant to pull up on a wallbed. Yeah, just let it go, right? Yes, so it'll take it's off when it's, when it's ready to take off. If anything, yeah, push yeah, the nose down, down a bit. Up. And if anything, pushing those down a bit to prevent it from prematurely rotating mm -hmm. and Happy stalling you out. Yeah. Strange thing for me is mm -hmm. I had full right rudder, my plane veered off left on the runway for unknown reasons. Use a six, no idea. six degrees right rudder trim on takeoff. Yep, yep. I, I'm like shifty. I don't usually have to use the rudder trim to take off, especially in the P51. I have no problems taking off on the P51, but it. I was going down the runway following Shifty and it just suddenly went left and I've got my, my foot stamped down on the rudder and nothing. Yeah. It just went straight off. Couldn't, couldn't understand I used it. The, the yeah, rudder was on. And then you uh, ease it out as you start gaining speed after yeah, you rotate. You have to turn auto rudder off, otherwise it will just rudder for you. Oh, yeah. The thing that's is, you can't, they can't, to, can't do anything with it on the server because I don't have any aircraft on the server. All right. Any other stories, guys? Before I sign off. And uh, Harrison ran out of fuel. Ah, uh -huh. really? Yeah. 
Yeah, so, we. Um, I mean, we turned turned in the first people that turned in the target, same as you, and yeah, we still run out of fuel. So okay. lesson for next time: bring a tank. Yeah, I guess so. Bring a P fifty one. They've got no spits. Have got the same endurance as the as the the donkeys, basically. So they're no good. The long range, but never mind. Done the job. So P fifty one did it on internal fuel uh, with twenty percent. You can start to see why it's the best fight of the war now, can't you? Because it can just go Absolutely. and go. And go. The range the is on. Spitfires. I, I think in my Mustang I burned the range, about 15% though. of my total fuel. Mm, it's just not I went from 68 well, to The Mustang was okay. designed for long range, long range. spots, yeah. Mm. It's good for ground attack in that sense, too. All right, guys. Because it can carry ordnance. I'm really looking forward to this campaign because it's just warbirds after mm -hmm. warbirds after warbirds after warbirds. By this, everyone should have no excuse. Everyone should be fucking dog shit part of it. <laughs> Copy that, right? No job. I'll have my files, please, Auntie. I'll get on and try and make something. The rest of you, I'll see you later. Woo! Copy that. Later, guys.